Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. I will be your instructor, tutor, director, whatever you want to call me. My name is Jeremy Tinsley. Um, my goal is to help you be able to pass your GED math exam in 30 days. In today's lesson, we will be discussing ratios and proportions. First of all, what is a ratio? A ratio is just a comparison between two numbers. Um, as your textbook, if you look at your textbooks, a ratio can be uh, displayed in three different ways uh, with the word two, so one to two, uh, one colon two, or as a fraction, one half. So to, in, order to do, in order to be able to do computation, you need to understand that a ratio can also be shown as a fraction. So today, I will show you the three ways in which you can solve a proportion and a proportion is when you set two ratios equal to each other. And you will have to use uh, ratio proportions and percents for about four to five problems on your exam. So today we're gonna go over ratio and proportions and I will show you three different ways to solve a proportion. The first, the easiest way is to solve it using equivalent fractions, okay? So my, my, my recommendation is try to, to solve your a proportion first by trying equivalent fractions. Then the second way I would recommend is unit rate. Uh, try to find a unit rate, unit, unit meaning one. And the third way we're going to discuss and the third way is to cross multiply. Now, sometimes we cannot use equivalent fractions. Uh, sometimes because of decimals or fractions, it's a little bit harder using unit rate, but we can always cross multiply. So today I'm gonna give you an example. And that example is uh, Betty can make, can bake nine cakes in two hours. So let me write that in. So Betty can bake nine cakes in two hours. Betty can bake nine cakes in two hours. How many cakes can she bake in 12 hours? Okay, so that's our question for the day. Let me put this right here, right here. So we'll be able to see the screen on the calculator and we'll be able to see the keys that I press. So Betty can bake nine cakes in two hours. So now our ratio that's given to us is the nine cakes in two hours. So that's a ratio that we already know. Okay, so it's, very, it's very important for you to understand. That's a ratio given to us, nine cakes in two hours. So most of the time you'll say, well, how many cakes can she bake in an hour? So that means hour is going to be on the bottom. So let's set this ratio up. Okay, first, let me get my pencil. There we go. So we got a ratio that we know. Again, we're going to uh, show it as a fraction. So nine cakes in two hours. Okay, so the first of all, we realize the proportion is two ratios set equal to each other. So we have our first ratio. We have our equal sign, and then we're going to set up our second ratio. Because we have an equal sign, you want the same terms on both sides of the equal. So since we have cakes over hours, we want cakes over hours on the right side. So we don't know, uh, this is an unknown. We don't know how many cakes are going to be baked for 12 hours. So that's an unknown. Well, so we're going to call it X. And then because hours is on the bottom over here, we got 12 hours on this side of the equal sign. So then this is a simple case of equivalent fractions. Nine halves is how many twelfths? Very easy. What do we have to multiply two by to get 12? We have to multiply by six. Whatever we do to the uh, bottom, we do to the top. Nine times six is 54. Very simple. Okay. 
54 kicks. Very easy. So that's how you would solve this problem using equivalent fractions. Okay, this was equivalent fractions. Okay, again, let me repeat. On the GD, I would attempt to look at the problem to see if I can solve it using equivalent fractions first. Okay, the second way I want to go over is unit rate. Unit rate. So I'm going to erase this here. I'm going to erase this here. Okay. So again, we start with the ratio we know. Cakes over hours. Nine cakes to every two hours. So all we're going to do is do the computation. So nine divided by two is 4.5 cakes per hour, okay? So the unit rate, so this is every hour, she can bake 4.5 cakes. So in order to know how many she can do in 12 hours, we just do have to do 12 times 4.5. And mental math tells us 12 times four is 48. A half of 12 is six, and we get 54, okay? This was done doing mental math. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second on the calculator, but this is mental math. You wanna get in the habit of doing as many problems as you can using, doing mental, using mental math, but eventually on your GED, we're gonna use that calculator for at least half of our exam. So again, we have 54. So this was solving the same problem using unit rate. Now, the third way I wanna go over how to solve a proportion is cross multiplication, okay? Cross multiplication. Again, we're gonna start with the ratio we know nine cakes to every two hours. And we're gonna set up the other ratio on the other side. We know 12 hours. We don't know how many cakes, that's the unknown. So we're gonna use the variable X and you cross multiply. So we're gonna cross multiply. So first we're gonna cross multiply the one that has the X. So we're gonna do this one first. So two X because two times X is two X equal. And then we're going to do the other side. We want to cross multiply. So if you notice it forms an X, that's why it's called cross multiply. <laughs> so nine times 12 in order to get the X by itself, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we want to both divide both sides by two. The twos cancel, we get X equal 108 divided by two. Again, we wanna use mental math. So nine times 10 is 90. Nine times two is 18. 90 plus 18 gives you 108, okay? So we wanna do as much mental math as we can. So 90 plus 18 is 108. 108 divided by two, is 54. So we just solved the proportion using three ways, okay? Now, they worked out each way to 54 cakes, so it was very easy. So let me show you how you would do that uh, with the calculator. So first, um, we wanna do uh, 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 equivalent fractions, okay? So we have nine halves is equal to how many, uh, uh, um, how many cakes in 12 hours. So we realized we had to multiply by six. So we can do in D, nine halves times in D, six over six. So we have 4.5. Okay, so that's the unit rate, 4.5. So we have nine divided by two which is 4.5, which gives us the unit rate. So if you notice, 
the equivalent of fractions, you kind of have to do that with mental math. But that should be a, a concept that's in your wheelhouse. If it's not, make sure you practice on finding equivalent fractions. Okay, so we 4.5 is our unit rate. We're going to multiply that by 12 because 4.5 for each hour, but we need to know how many in 12 hours. There we go. Okay, um, now let me erase the screen so we can have it. So we can see what we pressed in order to, to get that problem. So again, we have 54. Okay, let me clear the screen again. Now, let's solve it using cross multiplication. So remember, we still have our original uh, uh, nine halves, if you remember correctly. So when we had to cross multiply, we had nine halves is equal to x over 12. So again, it, what you should notice is when you cross multiply, that you're always dividing by the term that's being multiplied by x. So in order to do this problem, all we would have to do is hit ND, and we have 9 times 12. I'm going to use parentheses to show multiplication. And then you're going to divide by the coefficient of x. So whether it was 1.5, no matter if it's 0.25, no matter what that coefficient is, that's what goes in your denominator. So we're going to hit 2. We're going to get out of our fraction, and we're going to press Enter. So again, um, Cross multiplication would be 2x equal 108, divide both sides by 2, and we get 54. Again, this is a nice, easy way. Okay, so again, so let me summarize solving proportions for the GED math exam. Okay, the, the simplest way is try to find, use equivalent fractions to find your answer. The second way is to try to find, use unit rate to uh, find your answer. And the third way is to cross, to use cross multiplication. I can guarantee you, you're gonna have three to four problems just on uh, proportions. So uh, it could be a unit rate problem. It could be a scale problem. Uh, it could be a slope problem. Later on, we'll dis discuss slope. Uh, so slope is also a constant proportionality. So that's another third way we use purport. You can use proportions to solve it. So again, to solve proportions on your GED math exam. You can use equivalent fractions, unit rate, or to cross multiply. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, check out my website, passgdmath.com. Uh, comment, subscribe uh, to see my additional videos coming out. Um, again, on uh, in the book, I have um, ways you can solve even the, some of the harder math problems on your GT exam for the linear equations, the slope, equ equation of a line, quadratic equation, system of equations. So instead of spending weeks and weeks and weeks studying these things, I show you a quick way to use the calculator to find the answers to many of these problems. So again, uh, check out my website, passgdmath.com. Um, again, my book comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you go through my book and you take your tests um, and you feel as though um, it wasn't worth the investment, I will return your money. That's how uh, confident I am. When you buy this ebook, when you buy this book, um, your ability to be able to pass your GED math exam. So hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all your feedback. Thank you and see you again.